Okay, and welcome to one of the latest projects that I finished. Uh, it's a supercomputer, to be more specific. It's a liquid-cooled 7 GPU supercomputer designed to render 3D graphics faster. Uh, using the existing Mac trash cans, you can't do 3D rendering. Uh, really, you can't speed it up because they can't change the GPUs yet. So. As much as I love Max, I had to admit that we needed to build a PC that we could put a slew of GPUs in. So these right here are seven of the NVIDIA Pascal Titan 10s. Um, they're all water-cooled. If you look carefully, you can see the water moving in there. This system has two pumps. There's one right there, and then there's another one up here. So it has redundant pumps in case something shuts down uh, after hours. You can see the water moving there in my reflection. So to start off the loop, basically, there's a reservoir here to allow for thermal expansion. And pump number one comes down in here into the Intel i7 GP CPU, I should say. Uh, it's a pretty fast i7. You don't really need fast uh, processors for 3D rendering. The big important thing is the GPUs. So the water comes out of the CPU and then goes into this block here and then goes through all seven Titan Pascals. Now all of these have had the DVI connectors cut off of them. You can see only this end one here has a DVI connector on it. The rest of them have been removed. The, the cases have been remo removed and then a water block uh, put on all of them. So that's really the only way you can get seven GPUs on any motherboard just because they're normally a two-space uh, card. So we use Octane as our render engine. Uh, here it's just running a bench test to get the GPUs uh, up to temperature and running well. And uh, there's a two thermal take, 15 100 uh, watt power supplies to run all this. Anyway, the water comes uh, out of all the GPUs at its maximum temperature, goes through another pump. If one of these fails, the other one is enough to run um, everything. So it goes into a nine fan radiator. Each of these fans is monitored. These actual uh, temperature sensors down here monitor the speed of each fan. There are temperature sensors on the pumps, on uh, the CPU, on the GPUs, the water inlet and outlet temperature down here you can see pretty easily. And I don't know if you can hear, but this whole cavity is covered with glass. And so basically the air that's behind that glass needs to be cooled too. Uh, there are, if you look up here, two vents within the case and they go up to a 400 CFM exhaust fan that sucks air out, cools this off. It actually sucks air in the back, gets blown out through the radiator into this cavity and then exhausted up and out. So at a glance you can look at these readouts and see that the water temp coming into the radiator is 98 and well you can't read that with the iPhone the uh, the ambient in the room is 84 that'll go up to about a hundred degree 110 degree water temperature which for electronics is nothing really so we will be overclocking all of this stuff Really the only thing in this uh, computer that isn't necessary is the plasma uh, on the RAM. It just was the RAM that we got, came with it, and it does look cool, but uh, everything else actually has a purpose. All these are monitoring fan RPM and various temperatures and then have alarms on them. So if uh, any one of the values goes above, it sets out an audible alarm and then also notifies the motion and graphics people of what the problem is. Um, there's a valve 
to drain the liquid, and then there's also a valve up here to add the liquid. The liquid itself is a, a UV reactive liquid. So if you look at the LEDs that light this, there's a strip of blue and two strips of uh, black light. It doesn't light up anywhere near as much as we had hoped as far as fluorescing, um, unfortunately, but it does, it does add a little bit to it. If you turn them off, you can tell there is a little bit of a difference. So a lot of time and work was put into making everything look good, all the wiring. All the plumbing is all hard to bent into place. Um, the vertical monitor is running Windows 10, um, the operating system, and again, we use Octane to do our 3D rendering. Uh, I'll show you some pictures uh, of the process that we went through to, to build it. Basically, uh, the design was transferred to 3 quarter inch plywood and laid out and then recesses were cut to put the LED backlighting in. If you look in here, you can sort of see the LEDs underneath the blue plexiglass. So all that was done ahead of time and then a uh, carbon fiber-like vinyl adhesive wrap was put over everything and then the, uh, the letters for MGFX for motion graphics were recessed in the back and lit. And then the components were put on top, everything was plumbed, all the wiring was done, numerous tests were done. And like I said, we probably will be overclocking this uh, quite a bit because right now 110 degrees is nothing. Um, so we should be able to boost it quite a bit. But the case itself is about uh, three by seven. So it could have been smaller, but we decided we'd make something that looked good and could be displayed well rather than just cram into a, it would have taken a very large box um, if we wanted to have this kind of cooling. So this is right outside our motion and graphics department. And it basically has taken our render times uh, from days down to hours in some cases. So I will uh, publish the specs for all of this in the comments. If you have any questions or comments to add, please place them below. Thanks.